Today we're going to demonstrate the new quasi-transient analysis feature in Lorentz version 9.1. Here I have a simple static disk model which produces an E field in the Z direction. We've launched a trajectory with a particle which has velocity components in the Y direction and the negative Z direction. So what happens is that initially the particle travels against the direction of the field and reaches a minimum point. At that point its velocity in the z direction is exhausted and then the electric field forces the particle back up in the positive z direction. So to show a quasi-transient solution we'll simply turn off the field at the halfway point which is 5 microseconds and the quasi-transient trajectory should then describe a straight line path after that. So in order to perform the quasi-transient analysis, we switch the physics global setting operation mode to quasi-transient. And then in the solver setup, we specify the total time, which will be 10 microseconds, and the step time, which we'll use as 0 0.05 microseconds. And then we will change our boundary conditions the constant boundary conditions are now constant sources in the quasi-transient mode. We'll leave the top disk as being a constant source of zero. The bottom disk, which has a constant value of 50, will change that so that it will only be present for half the transient solution. So we'll edit that and what we'll do, we'll add a new signal and we'll multiply that and the new signal will be a simple pulse which starts at time equals zero with an amplitude of one and a pulse width of only five microseconds. So now when we plot the source, it's displayed in our autograph window. So you can see initially you have the constant 50 volt source and then at five microseconds the source is switched off. So now we'll run the new simulation when we activate the run solver, the program will first perform a field solution and then it launches the new trajectory. And as we expected, by switching the field off at the halfway point, when the velocity in the z direction is zero, thereafter the particle travels in a straight line in the y direction. And we can compare the two beams, the static analysis where the field doesn't change and the quasi-transient analysis where the field is turned off at the midpoint of the trajectory.